Day three started off cold and wet, but it didn't matter as my bags were packed for Samburu. You have the option to fly from Nairobi to Samburu, but I would recommend driving, as the six hours fly by fast as you enjoy the ever-changing vegetation and landscape. As you drive from the Southern Hemisphere into the Northern Hemisphere, the rolling hills and mountain Kenya all welcome you into the beautiful landscape as you head your way into Samburu. A quick stop at the equator allowed us to stretch our legs, but also to witness the equator science experiment in Nunuki. So, if you're wondering how to tell if you're 0.0, .0 on the equator line, make a stop and check out the locals as they show you how. Upon our arrival at the Buffalo Springs Reserve in Samburu, we were greeted by all types of birds and wildlife. And as we made it over into our camp, day one ended with a cool welcome and a lunch that was well deserved. The next day, few days into our trip and we were in it for good this time in the wild, wild, wild. It involved early morning wake ups to bird songs that serenaded us as we jumped into our Jeep to go into our date game drives. We were able to enjoy a glorious morning with a heart of elephants and their young. Watch the sunrise with a pride of lions. And best of all, one of the reasons that we had chosen Samburu over the Mara is that the Samburu has the Samburu Special 5. The Guranek, a giraffe-necked antelope, was a beauty to look at. The reticulated giraffe took our breath away as we were able to hang along and enjoy it in its natural habitats doing its morning strolls. The gravy zebra, which is the biggest thing I had been looking forward to, simply took my breath away. The basa orangs are simply delightful but also shy and we only enjoyed working with so many of these before we were able to catch a good picture of them. Our only missing animal in the big five was the Somali ostrich but definitely one to watch out for on your trip. Samburu was the perfect place for something different for your safari.